Good morning, Yokies. Thank you for joining. This is my very first time um, recording a guided practice to offer this way, and I hope that it will be a resource that's helpful to you. I plan to build a larger catalog of these videos, so if there's anything in particular that you would like for me to offer, please do reach out. Um, this one is going to be mantra followed by meditation. Um, I had a lot of folks asking me about those practices, so I thought what better way than to begin with mantra because it's been one of the most um, transformative parts of my personal practice. And to those of you who know me, you know that I love asana. I love being upside down. I love playing with arm balances and those have been really important to me, but mantra is really a deeper, more profound um, mode of transportation that I just love and I'm grateful to be able to share it with you. So we will start with one of my absolute favorite mantras, which I chant daily and it's a really simple one, which is also really wonderful for the times that we find ourselves in. Um, it is simply aham prema and what that means is aham I am prema divine love and um, the words I am are words of creation anything that you place after them is what you're claiming what you're invoking and um, it's the energy that you're seeking to connect with and to express and so with this mantra, that's what you're claiming. You, I am divine love. You're asserting that. And so when you're chanting it, really invite it in to your thoughts, your words, and your actions so that you can take that out into the world where it is so very needed right now. Um, the way that I lead mantra in my classes is we'll start with call and response and then take several rounds together. So I'll do that here too. I'll start out by um, singing it and then I'll leave space for you to repeat it back if you so desire. And you also have the option to just listen. Uh, the vibrational medicine will work either way. Um, and I just hope that either way, these resonant vibrations that we create will warm your heart and help you find expansion and peace. Um, we'll begin with Om. Om is said to be the cosmic eraser and it is the silence afterwards that is the most important part. It is the silence which creates the space for transformation and stillness so that we can experience that state of deep listening and ultimately yogic bliss. Um, so we'll begin with three ohms together. We'll start with a cleansing breath, deep inhale through your nose. And exhale it through your mouth. And inhaling for three ohms, breathe in. that moment 
to pause and sit in that silence. Basking in the glow of that mantra. And as we move on to Aham Prema, since this mantra is about love, I invite you to especially bring your focus to the center of your chest and to Anahata, the heart chakra. And just feel the way that it affects you physically. And call and respond. Aham Prema Aham Prema Aham Prema Aham Prema
a few times together. together Om Shanti 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 peace peace peace
it to really savor the sensations and the vibrations as they wash over you. Feeling the nectar of that mantra practice from head to toe. body, your energetic body, noticing how you feel, taking note of what is present. And taking a moment to make any adjustments in your posture that you need so that you can be seated comfortably for meditation practice. If it helps, you can elevate your hips by sitting on a pillow. And once you've found your shape, close your eyes if you haven't already. Feel your hips pressing down into the support of the earth beneath you. And use that rooting down into the lower body to lift the crown of the head up towards the ceiling, lengthening your spine, creating space in your neck. The head is neutral. And the neck is long through the front, the back, and the sides. And draw your shoulders up towards your ears, and then release them down your back drawing shoulder blades gently together as you lift your chest, expanding your collarbones, allowing your palms to rest on your thighs or your knees. Palms face up if you're seeking more inspiration and more receiving. Palms face down if you're seeking more grounding and stability. And perhaps one of each, one palm up, one palm down. Just allow your hands to be relaxed, your fingers soft. Soften your belly, but continue lengthening your spine. And let go of any tension in your jaw. Relax your eyebrows your cheeks, your tongue, and your lips. And finding a sense of effortlessness and ease in this alignment of your physical body. Bringing your awareness to your breath. And at first, not trying to shape or force anything. Just becoming a witness, observing the natural rhythm of your breath. Paying attention to the length, whether it's deep or shallow. quality of the breath, the texture, whether it's smooth or choppy. And notice the rhythm, whether the inhales and exhales are even or uneven. And not judging any of this, just seeing what is in this moment. Working with that breath as a tool to draw all of yourself right here into this moment. And 
Feel the sensation of coolness at the tip of your nostrils as you draw the air in. And that slight sense of heat as you expel. And still without shaping anything, and follow that breath as it enters your nostril. See how far down your body you can follow it. Just noticing where that prana, that energy is traveling. And beginning to breathe with more intention. We will begin to practice samavritti, an equal breath with four count inhales, four count exhales. Finding deep, smooth, controlled breath. You can do this with or without sound. If you practice ujjayi, you're welcome to activate that now. If not, simply focus on smoothing and deepening your breath. Deep breath in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, full inhale, two, three, four, exhale completely, two, three, four, and draw it in, two, three, four, let it go, two, three, four, keep this going on your own, maintaining equal four count inhales to four count exhales, and exhaling fully so that you can create space to fully receive that gift of life and vitality as you inhale. So the breath, just like our interactions in life, just like anything, is an exchange of energy. And it is only in letting go and surrendering that we are able to make room to fully receive. As you exhale, let go of resistance, tension, stagnant energy with that stale breath. As you inhale, draw in inspiration, possibility, expansion, divine love, aham prema. Draw that in, invite it into your being, into your way of life beginning with your breath. Keeping that four count inhale, four count exhale. Perhaps beginning to imagine the breath entering your nostrils as a vibrant golden light. Keep that golden light in mind. Inhale to a count of four, bringing your awareness from your nostrils up to the space between your eyebrows, third eye, Ajna Chakra. This time as you exhale, send your awareness down from third eye into your navel, Manipura, solar plexus. As you inhale to a count of four, bringing your awareness from navel to third eye. And as you exhale, descend the awareness from third eye down to the navel. And so up, two, three, four, let go, two, 
three, four, golden light pulls up the spine, two, three, four, and then down, two, three, four, keep it going on your own, tracing that line of energy up and down your spine, from navel to third eye, from third eye back to navel. Transitioning this to Vishamavati, your unequal breath. We'll be a four count inhale to an eight count exhale. So as you inhale, fill up navel, two, three, four. Third eye, breathe out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, breathe in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, full breath in, two, three, four, let it go, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, breathe into your navel for one, into the heart for two, into the throat for three, third eye for four, Third eye, two, throat, three, four, heart, five, six, navel, seven, eight, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, draw the energy in, two, three, four, pull it down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and take that practice over on your own. Four count inhales from navel to third eye. Eight count exhales from third eye to navel. Pausing along the way finding your awareness at the navel, the heart, the throat, the third eye, and then back down from the third eye to throat, to heart, to navel.
Take one more full cycle of this breath. Taking your time to move through the full inhale and exhale. Take a few cleansing breaths together. And as you inhale, imagine that you're drawing any remaining bits of resistance, blockage, or tension into your throat. Deep breath in. And hold the breath behind Jalantara Bandha. Chin tucks gently towards chest. Hold that energy in. Imagine the fire of the throat chakra burning away all of these blockages. And then lift your chin, exhale through the mouth. Again, breathe and gather these energies up at the throat. Tuck the chin, Jala Bandha, pause the breath. And then expel, release the Bandha. One more time, breathe in. Sip in a little more. Jala Bandha, pause the breath. Untuck your chin, let it go. Allow your breath to return to its natural rhythm. Once again, observing its natural rhythm, its texture, its temperature. Noticing the effect that these practices have had upon your breathing. Maybe it's a little deeper or smoother. Perhaps your mind feels calmer. You feel more of a sense of grounding. Know that these practices are always here for you. And that these are tools that will empower you in moments of anxiousness and discomfort. You can always bring your awareness to your breath and it's pretty amazing. It's what a profound impact such a simple thing as our breath has on our sense of well-being. So I invite you to take these tools with you and to implement them at any time when you feel that you need them. It has been my honor to guide you in these practices. And I wish you abundance and good health and joy throughout this day. Bring your hands to prayer at the center of your heart, lifting your chest into your thumbs. And then returning once more to Aham Prema, silently repeating that in your mind. Taking that message on, claiming that divine love, which is you. And lift this prayer to third eye, connecting your heart with your intuition. And the light within me sees and honors the light within you. And we celebrate each other's light as we bow in offering to one another.
Thank you again for joining. Um, I hope that these practices will be helpful to you. I will continue to add more. So again, your feedback and requests are so appreciated. I so appreciate you for showing up, for being committed to continuing this work. And I hope that you will continue to shine this divine light and this love out into the world. We need it now more than ever. Um, as you may be aware, I am an independently employed healer and my work situation, as are so many others, is really precarious and uncertain right now. So I am accepting love donations via Venmo. My Venmo is at Tabitha Hall Healing and absolutely no pressure. I know that a lot of people are in the same boat as me. So if that's you, please just take this offering. I wanted to make it free for anyone who is in need of these practices. Um, I would like to be of service and to be able to provide support for whomever I can at this time. But if you do have the means, please consider visiting my Venmo and just leaving any amount that you feel is appropriate. I appreciate you. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I hope that you continue to take the time to pause in this stillness. It's such a powerful thing to do, to sit with yourself and to take on these transformative practices. Um, thank you.